segregation, you know, some people, now they call it tradition in the South, I guess, or something like that. Number one, I always thought it was unnecessary, but we knew that we had to overcome some obstacles in segregation, and we did. But the thing is, you got to realize that you don't do everything by yourself. As you go through this, there are people there that will accept you. There are people that will never accept you, I don't care what you do. It was difficult. Those were difficult times when we were segregated in the city of El Centro. Uh, there were places we could eat, places we couldn't eat. There were theaters we could attend, theaters we couldn't go. And they had places in the, in the, in the theater that uh, was reserved, and we could only sit in those areas. I thought it was unjust. I thought it was unnecessary. I thought it wasn't the American way. But at the same time, uh, I didn't rise above it. I just didn't participate in it that much. And I, I admire and respect the people who thought that to ride on a bus that might be bombed any time or something like that. These are things that really brought it out. And I appreciate national TV because the word was, oh, they're just complaining. They're always complaining about something. They just want somebody to give them something. But when they saw people being uh, put upon by uh, police dogs knocked down by fire hoses. These things, they could see it on national TV and they said, oh, wait a minute. These are Americans too, and they deserve a chance. aware of it. You're a black person, you're always aware of it. Anywhere you go, you're aware of it. You can walk in the building and, you know, everything turns silent. You already know what's up, you know. That's not just then, that's even now sometimes, you know. Or you can walk in a store and now everybody follow you, you know. You don't have to worry about getting help because they're right there. Of course, we never liked it, never understood it. It was difficult for me to say I pledge allegiance to a flag that really didn't encompass me totally and uh, God bless America and etc and, and whatever it never it never once left my mind that 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 I was a subject of, of, of segregation but by being segregated I didn't let it deter me from from accomplishing the things that I wanted to do regardless of where I went to school Integration had positive and negatives, but mostly positive. The positive things outweighed the negatives. I think it was 48 when they started to integrate uh, the schools. And so as once it became a law, then they had to do something. People are saying, well, you can't force this, or you can't force me to like you. I don't want you to like me. You disrespect me. 